Diana Rigby, Superintendent of Carpentry Unified School District. Diana, tell me, it must be quite a difficult time for the schools. What's going on? How have things changed with the pandemic? Well, like everybody, uh, most everything that we were doing on a daily basis has completely transformed. You know, our, our first um, priority is that we're very concerned about the health and safety of all of our 300 employees, as well as our 2,155 students and their families. Uh, we completely transitioned classroom learning to remote learning, and that is, that is extremely challenging, and thanks to a incredible, wonderful, awesome teaching staff, our teachers in a short time, have been able to make their connections with their students on a daily basis using all of our technology platforms. We use Google Classroom and we use Google Hangouts in the classroom to connect every day with our students. We also use Zoom, of course, um, to connect with students. But it's been, um, it's a, a challenging process and uh, there's feelings of stress and feelings of being overwhelmed, not only from the students' perspective, but also from staff. You know, our uh, issue with Carpentry uh, students is that more than 58% uh, are free and reduced lunch families, so they're poor students. And uh, their access to connectivity and to laptops um, is limited. So we've been uh, distributing over a thousand laptops and iPads to uh, students and their families. We've uh, delivered and distributed hotspots. We're working with Cox Cable to provide free internet service uh, for the rest of the school year. So there are some significant challenges. In addition, uh, we are providing lunch on a daily basis to our families, both at Aliso and Canalino School is where we offer the distribution, but it's offered to all of our families. And um, every week we also are providing groceries with, uh, in partnership with um, the Children's Project and the Boys and Girls Club and the Food Bank. In addition, we provide counseling services and we noticed in the, we were, we're in week four, and we've noticed in the past weeks that the, there's been an increase of um, students feeling stressed and um, our secondary students depressed because they are alone and or at home without any social interaction. So now, we have a lot of challenges. Uh, it sounds like it. Ha have there been many layoffs with the school district employees? No, all of our employees uh, will be paid uh, for the remainder of the school year. And all of our employees are on call or working remotely. Wow, that's great. Well, what if kids' parents are still working? Uh, I guess many, most of them perhaps are not, but if they are, are, are kids home by themselves and what can be done about that? Well, that's one of our concerns and a, and a major challenge is that a number of our families, in fact, are the parents are working. And so siblings are taking care of siblings. And you can imagine that uh, there is limited opportunities for them to engage in the schoolwork or to be online because they're managing households themselves. And to support parents, nobody expected that they'd be homeschooling in the next four months. And that's another huge responsibility that parents have taken on is that they're trying to manage the schedules of their children at home as well as trying to work, or in the case of a number of families, we have older siblings taking care of younger siblings. Wow, that's crazy. Um, and any, uh, any anecdotes that you have you'd care to share about the new situation? Oh, we have some wonderful, wonderful stories. Uh, the other day, we had TK students, four years old, that were uh, Zooming with their teacher and with each other. It was mm -hmm. delightful. And so we had a chance to uh, meet their families as well as meet their pets. And so that was really lots of fun. Um, we also, uh, two weeks ago, uh, we had students in second grade using the Google Hangouts 
and they're reading to each other. So we have literacy partners that uh, read aloud to each other and share their stories. So there, there's all kinds of wonderful things going on. At the high school level, we've had a number of virtual lab experiences, experiments, excuse me. Um, students are engaged in uh, their labs, their science and biology labs, and they're, they're working virtually in partners. So our teachers are very creative and uh, they worked so hard over and above what they typically do to ensure that students stay connected and continue to have access to um, high quality learning experiences. So that's, that's the silver lining is that we're really proud of the way that our uh, staff and teachers have responded to transitioning so quickly to remote learning. Uh, well, great, Diana. Anything you'd like to say to the parents or students watching this video? Well, we really miss you. <laughs> I mean, the joy of learning and the joy of school is having everyone together and working together. Learning is a really social activity. And so it is really hard to see those empty hallways at our schools. So I want everyone to know that we really miss them and we are trying very hard to be connected with them each day. And we wanna make sure that everybody is connected to their classmates and to their teachers. And if they have any questions or concerns, we encourage them to call or email their principals or myself and we will make sure that we uh, find you a computer and get you connected with the internet, make sure you have lunch and make sure you have the um, opportunity to continue with your classmates and reading and writing and doing math and science experiments, all the fun learning activities that we offer in the schools. Okay. And remind everybody as well, it's a long slog. It's 10 more weeks of schooling, so slow down. We, we don't need to, kids, we don't need to be online six hours a day. I don't encourage that at all. This is a time for families to be together. So we encourage, you know, playing games, uh, make sure you go outside, you have physical activity, and please read at least 30 minutes every day. Mm -hmm. Please. Okay, well, great. Well, thanks so much for your good thoughts and you're hanging in there and we have a wonderful school system. So uh, I wish you well and good luck. Thank you so much, Larry. Take care and stay healthy, be well. Okay, bye-bye.